In order to reuse the, the boost stage, which is about 70% of the cost of the rocket, so that... Wh which cost is that? How much is that? Um, well, I mean, it's sort of on the order of 30 to 35 million dollars. Right, so you want to save that. Yeah, I mean, it's like, I try to, when I tell my team, it's like, imagine there was a pallet of cash that was plummeting through the atmosphere, <laughs> <laughs> and it was going to burn up and smash into tiny pieces. Would you try to save it? All right, all right, all right. Probably yes. Yes, okay. Yeah, that uh, sounds like a good idea. Right. So, so yeah, so we, 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 we want to get it back. Right. And that way, um, we don't have to make another one. Right. Um, and I think it's quite tragic if rockets like, get smashed into tiny pieces. Why you want to land on, the, on a ship in the ocean? Because um, in order to get to orbit, you, all that matters is your horizontal velocity. Your altitude is, doesn't, doesn't really matter. The force of gravity at, uh, say, the sort of nominal um, boundary of space, 100 kilometers, is almost exactly the same as it is on the surface of the Earth. You can think of gravity as kind of a funnel in space-time. Um, so, uh, or think of like a coin funnel. Like, it, it really, it's very much like that in, in, you know, but it's obviously a, sort of a four-dimensional coin funnel. But uh, if, if you, if you spin, a, spin a marble or a coin on a coin funnel, the, it, it, when, it's, when it's far out, it sort of spins slowly, and then as it gets closer, it spins faster and faster. And if you, want, if, you want, if you were to start at the bottom of the coin funnel and you wanted to, 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 to exit, you'd spin it horizontally, and, and it, would, it would spin out, and, and, and that's really how you, how you get to orbit. And so when the rocket is going to orbit, um, the only reason it's going up is to get out of the thick part of the atmosphere. Because at, at high velocity, the atmosphere is thick as molasses. Um, and so it goes up very briefly, but if you look at a long exposure of the, the rocket's uh, trajectory, you'll see it, it goes up, but immediately curves over and starts going horizontal. Um, and so uh, the, at the point at which the stages separate, there's two stages. Um, the, the primary boost stage, which is the most expensive part of the rocket, the point at which that, st that staging occurs uh, can be um, as high as uh, Mach 10. Um, but it's, it's, so it's going away from the launch site at 10 times the speed of sound. So in, in order to get back to the launch site, you would have to have enough uh, fuel and oxygen to reverse out that velocity and, and, and boost back all the way to the launch site. Um, and you just don't have, the physics of it don't really allow you to have that much. It's, it's not about saving money on fuel or anything, it's just physically impossible. B because another sort of th thing about uh, if, you're, if you're in space is that there's nothing to react against. So, like whereas an aircraft can, can circle very easily because it's reacting against air, in vacuum there's nothing to react against. So if you want to go backwards, you have to apply just as much energy as it took you to go forwards. Mm -hmm. The only way to really land it is to have it continue on that arc, that ballistic arc, and then land far out to sea on a ship that's, that's pre-positioned to a particular uh, latitude and longitude, very, very precise, to within about a meter. Um, and then the, the rocket will um, then go from vacuum through rarefied air at hypersonic velocity, uh, um, it, and, and what, so when it's, in, when it's in vacuum, it has to, obviously you can't use aerosurfaces, you have to use um, nitrogen jets to control the, um, the attitude and position. And then um, as it starts to encounter uh, the air, um, we use um, grid fins, because grid fins uh, look like, sort of like a waffle. Um, they, they work quite well across a wide regime from both very high velocity um, hypersonics through supersonic, transonic, and subsonic. And then, uh, so once the air, air forces become high, it uses the, um, the four grid fins to, to sort of control its attitude. To and, land itself. Yeah, it's, it's, controlling, its, it's, it's controlling pitch, yaw, and roll with, with the grid fins. Um, and, uh, and then once, and th those grid fins will then position it to where it's fairly close to the ship, and then it will light, in this case, three of the nine engines to arrest the velocity and then drop to one engine for precision right before landing.